Good morning, everyone. This is the Sosa Truth Over Lies Daily. Hope all is well with everyone. Hope you're having a great morning, good day. Um, check selfexpression.com. Go to our YouTube, New City Assembly, for past questions. Um, so this quick question I'm going to answer about the anointing. It says, how do you know? When you were anointed, some folks didn't grow up in church. How was one supposed to know how to identify an anointing in your life? Um, very interesting question. I mean, some, like you said, some people didn't grow up in church and not familiar with spiritual phrases and, you know, Bible lingo. Um, and that's okay. Um, God still has a purpose for everyone, no matter when you when you discover it know or when you figure it out it's never too late so even if you didn't grow up in church it's definitely okay to ask these questions and to um, figure out how to use God's gifting and calling on your life so basically the anointing is responsibility um, it can also be considered power or a calling um, I like to use the word responsibility because it's a responsibility. Um, it's not. It's, it's something that's not just a power for you. It's actually a responsibility that's given to you. It's what you're called to do. And responsibility. I think it. I think it. It clarifies the purpose of it. So that's why I like to use the word responsibility, because especially too, because when in the Old Testament, when a king or a prophet or a priest was anointed, it represented their responsibility to do something for somebody else um basically you know a couple different examples when you're in christ anyone who's in christ they're anointed or been given the responsibility and the power to wreck the devil's kingdom because god is inside of them christ came to destroy the works of the devil right so if christ is in you you came to you have to destroy the works of the devil also that's your calling that's your responsibility the scripture talks about um an example of david when he was anointed um, the demons inside of Saul knew that David was a future king and they tried to destroy him, right? So David was anointed. When he was anointed, it was inside of him and the devils could see it, right? Um, in the New Testament, when the apostles traveled to certain cities, the demons knew, you know, that they were there and they were to come and take souls away. Even Jesus himself, when he came to a place, the devils came and say, oh, please, please don't come here, please. Right? Are you going to cast us in a pit before our time? Right? And so the anointing is when you've been given the presence of God, the power of God to do something specific for God's kingdom. Anybody that's, that's a believer, um, that is a, a believer that is complete in their salvation, that has been, um, you know, repented, been baptized, believed, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, you are anointed to do. The work of God and sometimes like the question says even when you're not a believer people can see your purpose right people can see the gift on you and they're like wow you're anointed you should get saved so you can do your use your gift the right way right um, but that's a very important step because it does take obedience to execute your calling the devil can fool a lot of people um, in using their talents for themselves you can't use it in selfishness right the anointing is not something to play with just because you're gifted or talented, it's not doesn't mean you get to use your own gifts for yourself. When you're anointed, um, it must be it must be used for a specific purpose to set people free, um, to remove burdens, to destroy yokes, um, to heal people, right? To set people free financially, to to enlighten people's minds, to save souls, to preach the gospel to the poor, um, to br to bring in God's presence so people can feel God's presence, right? So the anointing is for, is for a specific purpose. Um, and so how to identify an anointing? If you feel a passion to do those things, if you feel you have the ability to set people free, then you are anointed and you must, you must connect with God um, to tap into what you're supposed to be doing um, and connect with God in obedience, but also serving others in order to use the anointing of God correctly. Because like I said, the devil, he's aware of the gift and the calling that is inside of you. He can see it, right? The anointing can be seen in the spiritual realm. But the people that are prophetic can see, sometimes they can see your gifting and your calling. 
Um, but the devil can also see that and he can deceive you and destroy you if you are not walking in God's ways and not using your anointing correctly. If you have a prophetic gift, but you use it for seduction and deception, right? Or if you have a, a, um, a musical gift, but you use it for self-worship or for um, the devil, the devil's music industry versus worshiping God, right? Um, if you are a leader, um, if you have a gifting to lead or a gifting to teach or a gifting, you know, to to speak, but you use it for selfishness or you use it for yourself instead of to serve people. Um, so these are the ways that the devil can kind of um, trick people that are anointed, right? Um, scriptures, Isaiah 10, 27, classic scripture about the anointing. His burden shall be taken away from off that shoulder and his yoke from off that neck. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. My baby needs some help right now. Liberty, come here. Uh, Luke 4, 18, New Covenant Scripture. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, to, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And then the next scripture says, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, the year of Jubilee. So the anointing is for the gospel to the poor, for healing, um, for deliverance, demonic deliverance, um, letting the blind people see, opening their eyes, enlightening people to set free those that are oppressed, um, and to financial freedom as well. So that's what the anointing is for. So I hope that answers the question. God bless.